Welcome to lecture 10. In this lecture we'll add the orbit controls. The orbit controls enable the camera to orbit around our strawberry model. This is a much more elegant solution than the rotation we applied to the strawberry in our animate function. And so it will solve the error we encountered earlier. In the existing script we'll add an import to import the orbit controls from the vendor folder. Also we need to add the variable controls to our list. Just like what we did in the GLTF loader, we also need to change the path inside the orbit controls module. So open the file and change the path in the import expression. Inside the init function, the controls are defined as an instance of the orbit controls, taking in the camera and the DOM element of the renderer. The camera's position on the z-axis is removed. Instead, the camera is set to a new position 0.64 and its default rotation. The auto rotate property of the controls is set to true. Then we define the target where the camera is looking at. In our case, it's the strawberry model which has a position of 0, 0, 0, or in other words, the origin. So we declare a target with a new vector free and set the target property of the controls to this target. Finally, we need to apply the update method to confirm our changes. That's it for the init function, but we also have to refactor our animate function. We remove the rotation on the strawberry and replace it by the update method on the controls. Now with each new animation frame, our controls will be updated. This means that the camera will automatically fly around our strawberry, but also that we can zoom with our mouse wheel and drag the camera while holding the left mouse button. So it's time to check out our script. We open it with the live server and we see the camera orbiting our strawberry. When we open the console, the error message has gone. With the scroll wheel, we can zoom in and zoom out. And holding the left mouse button, we can drag the camera around.